And we're back with another anime review from your favorite cat girl boy, Otaku no Fuji. Today's review is Shimaneta, a boring anime where the dirty jokes aren't funny. Yeah, that isn't the real subtitle, but it describes it pretty well, I think. Which is why I'm only giving Shimaneta a 6 out of 10. If you like this video or any of our other content, please like and subscribe and maybe click an Amazon link. We earn a commission no matter what you buy after you click the link, so help us out. Hold on, I need to put on my... my outfit. Shimaneta is a show about a dystopian future where Japan has decided to clean up its undeniably top-class pervy ways and has become the most morally upright country in the world by banning lewd material of any type and even outlawing the use of dirty words. Every citizen has to wear government surveillance devices that monitor everything they say and even detects hand motions and other actions, which are instantly reported to the decency squad who arrest and punish anyone doing dirty stuff. It's a nightmare. The problem with this, besides the obvious duh, is that after decades of this system, the people not only don't know how to even recognize pervy stuff anymore, but they don't understand lust or love or other feelings and have no idea on how to act on them. Young people have zero concept of what sex even is or where babies come from is a total mystery to them. The story of the show focuses on a group of high school students who start a dirty joke terror cell called Socks, with the intention of educating their fellow students on all things lewd while creating and spreading porn all around the school and the city as a form of protest. How do these kids know about lewd stuff when nobody else does? Because their parents were OG dirty joke terrorists too, that taught them everything they knew. The group still has to be careful with what exactly they say and do though, so videos of insects mating or drawings, done with a pen held in the mouth because the monitor devices can track hand movements, are largely the extent of their quote-unquote terrorism. They do something sort of bad-ish, the decency squad chases them around like an episode of Scooby-Doo, and their fellow school kids learn a dirty word. It's all kind of flaccid, actually. It's also frustrating in a lot of ways. The fact that the people of this world just let this happen to them, or more likely it was just rolled out and any opposition was beaten down before it could grow, is disturbing. Watching high school kids do such small-time to fight back against it also feels like a total waste of time in the grand scheme of things in this world. It's a massive issue that affects an entire country, but they're all like, ha ha ha, we showed dirty pictures to a bunch of teenagers. The day is saved. Good work, everyone. A different, more realistic and mature perspective on this world would have been fascinating. I also want to say that the first half of the series is far better than the second half because at least the first half is kind of entertaining. In the second half, actual real terrorists show up and start causing real trouble while claiming to be aligned with socks. Not because they're protesting the unjust law, but because they're sick perverts with olfactory fetishes who just want to collect stanky underwear. The show gets really serious and not fun anymore, but also gets far more stupid and annoying to watch. Even the overall dirty joke aspect of the show is disappointing because it is less jokes and more just screaming naughty words with no context. I guess in this world that would be super taboo and shocking, but in our real world it's just like 10 year old kids who learned bad words. It's not funny, it's not sexy, it's just ha 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 she said vagina penis cock pussy. It, it's lame. With all of that said, I will address one aspect of the show that I do like, and that is the character of Anna Nishikinomiya. She is the student council president of the school, and one of the most morally upright people in the entire country, because her parents created the oppressive decency laws to begin with. Through a happy accident, however, she becomes madly in love, or lust really, with the main character Tanukichi Okuma. But because she doesn't understand her feelings or how to act on them, she just goes freaking insane! She just starts gushing juices down below at the mere thought of him and leaves a snail trail everywhere she goes. She regularly throws herself crotch first at his face, practically drowning him with her soaking wet panties. She is a uh, very extreme in her advances and is a bit of a yandere to top it off too. She's DTF and doesn't even know what DTF means. But she's figured out there's only one way to stop the gallons of sploosh pouring out of her, and she's going to get it at any cost. She's simultaneously horrifying because of how crazy she goes, but she's so damn hot. <laughs> there are a couple of scenes where it's just like, 
holy crap. She's hilarious and sexy and overwhelming and weirdly awesome. I kind of love her. I'm not weird, I just don't mind aggressive women. If Shimonetta was just a normal high school harem romance with Anna chasing after Tanukichi, it would be an all-time late-night anime classic. Or if it was a more mature take on government censorship and morals, it would be absolutely fascinating, and increasingly relevant in today's real world, too. But instead, it's just about a boring world where dirty jokes are outlawed and not all that funny anyway. Like most shows, I do think it's kind of fun to watch once, but go in with low expectations. Or maybe just look up the Anna scenes, because they're so hot. And that's our review of Shimonetta. We're having a good time with these anime reviews, so expect more along with top 10 lists, tier lists, lewd video game coverage, waifu factory episodes, and whatever else we can think of, because this is fun. Thanks a lot for watching, so please like and subscribe.